Hello everyone, this is Karthik Silvaraj and in this IBM WebSphere Data Power Tutorials we will see about B2B Gateway. So first let us start with the basic question what is a B2B Gateway? So in simple definition it is a special type of gateway service available in Data Power Appliance which enables information exchange between trading partners. So in Data Power Appliance you've got uh, different types of uh, services that you can uh, create. So one such is B2B gateway service, there is a multi protocol gateway service, XML firewall service. You have got a different number of service, but when you have to e exchange information between two trading partners in some specific B2B formats, you will be using B2B gateway. Okay, so the next one what are the protocols are, that are supported by B2B gateway service? So the protocol which are supported are AS1. So AS stands for applicability statement. So the protocols that are supported by IBM Data Power B2B Gateway Services AS1, AS2, AS3, EBXML messaging service. So EBXML stands for Electronic Business XML Message Service. So it's in short called as eBusiness XML Message Service as well. Okay. So the next one is about the message body types that are supported in this B2B gateway. So XML is one of the message body types which are supported. Next we have EDI. So EDI is a very famous uh, B2B format. So EDI stands for Electronic Data Interchange. And we have another form of EDI which is called EDFACT in short. So it is Electronic Data Interchange for Administration, Commerce and Transport. And you can have your uh, message body in binary as well. Okay, so the next question is about which are the appliances which will be supporting B2B gateway. So in Data Power family, we have a lot and lot of appliances. We have XI52, uh, we have XM70, we have XB62. So so whatever the appliance has the prefix as XB. So B stands for the uh, business B2B appliance okay so xb60 that is outdated now we have xb62 and now ibm has introduced to the data power gateway so these three appliance support the service b2b gateway service okay. let's move on to the next slide so we were seeing about applicability statement in my previous slide so what do you mean by as1 so as1 means sending your b2b messages through email using SMTP. Okay. So AS2 is sending your B2B message over HTTP. So AS2, AS is a separate protocol. Okay. And AS3 is sending your B2B messages over FTP. So to the next slide. So what are the requirements to set up a B2B gateway? So you need to have an internal partner and an external partner. Okay. So it can be either way. So if you the service is going to transfer it from the internal partner to the external partner, it's called the outbound flow. Or if the flow is from the external partner to the internal partner, it is called as the inbound flow. Um, so you don't need to use uh, uh, gateway service to exchange your data between the internal partners to internal partners. That's not uh, applicable. Okay. So next question is how does AS message protocol works? So, uh, in this example, let me have it as uh, um, AS2, which is over HTTP. So, what happens is, um, in uh, applicability statement, after the message is forwarded, it requests for a MDN, which is called as message disposition notification. So, this tells you, and that's a particular form, this tells you whether the message has been received by the end application or the partner with to which we are sending the message okay so it uh, the mdn request and response works differently in uh, all the three applicability statement protocols so in as1 the mdn is asynchronous and in as2 it can be either asynchronous or synchronous and in as3 the mdn is asynchronous okay we will be seeing about uh, how it works in my later videos okay so that's all for this video and thanks for watching this Bye.